Hi, well, this is uh, my review, I guess, on the DeSantes uh, chest rig that I purchased. Um, I want to point out a few things about it. Uh, you know, some of the good points, some of the bad points, uh, pros and cons, etc. Um, the reason I purchased the chest rig is I have a uh, 44 Magnum. I have a, a leg holster I use for elk hunting when me and my wife go. Uh, but I thought, you know, the leg holster is kind of cumbersome when you're uh, out there and you're at your camp and you're in and out of the tent or you're sitting around the campfire or, you know, even eating your meals. You end up have tendency that your leg iron gets in the way. Um, so I, I thought, well, I saw this on sale. I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, as you can see, it was all originally black. Of course, I've done my crazy spray paint on it. I was, I have to have it match my Baron Under Armour camo. You know, I can't have a fashion felony. The elk and you know grizzlies and all that. They don't like that stuff. So, uh, anyway, basically, uh, the holster is pretty good all in all. It holds real well. It puts the gun in a good spot. Um, I like the fact that they put these extra links on top where you can actually hook your bear spray into. You know, first, of, you know, if you ever come across a grizzly, the first thing you want to do uh, is go for your bear spray first. So it makes it nice, I can pull my bear spray out, use the bear spray, and if he comes back, then I can go to the Magnum. Um, this holster will hold any pretty much 44 Magnum revolver. Uh, it works really good. Of course, you've got to use pretty much two hands to do it. It's not like the leg holster where you can do a thumb snap and, and break it out. You've got to reach across, unsnap it here, and then pull the weapon out. It's, it's not, difficult it's quick to do and you only have a few seconds if a grizzly charges you to get the weapon out so basically you know you're going to be in a pinch so you're going to want you don't want to be behind the power curve basically in essence when uh, when you got this on there uh, it, the strap just comes across like this and snaps in uh, it's not bad it, it's very secure if you're climbing or, or moving around for me it's just going to be in camp i'll go back to the leg holster when i'm not doing that um, i like the way it has the elastic band that comes on the side some people were complaining that it had this metal clip right here and that that metal clip was digging into them. Well, I found that when you adjust it, I use some paramedic uh, self-binding tape. It's not, it's not really tape, it's a cloth uh, clinging, it's a like gecko skin, they call it. And it's not sticky like, uh, you know, the rigging tape we use in the military. This, I wrapped it around to keep the uh, cord from catching it. And then I ran the excess strap underneath the buckle. So that way, if you're wearing thin clothes like I'm doing now with a t-shirt, it pretty much gives you a little added protection on that one particular buckle right there. Other than that, it's real comfortable. It holds real well. It centers it. You can turn this. There's other D-rings. You can turn it, you know, uh, I guess horizontally if you want, or vertic complete vertically. I like the 45 degree angle. I can get to it quicker. Uh, I, I like where I have my bear spray mounted, where I can dogs over there going crazy. I can pull my bear spray out real quick if I need to, one-handed basically, and yank it out. Don't need to show you that. The uh, thing I didn't like about it, the DeSantis, I don't know who their engineers were, but they really, they made these pretty little belt loops here for all these uh, rounds. And if you have a 44 Magnum, you're not going to be having time to load this thing or take these out. It's not the old West where you're in a gunfight and you got to lull in the gunfights and you pull these out. I wish they would have done away with that and maybe put a, a, something else here. This speed loader case they put in is way too small. Now, this is a five shot 44 Magnum, and the speed loader that I bought for it barely fits. It's a five round speed loader. And as you can see, there is barely enough room for this to fit, and it doesn't even take all the Velcro. I had to stretch this to get it to fit. It really didn't take it out. They, they kind of cut it at an angle here, and if they would have brought it out another half an inch, they could have used a 44 Magnum size that would cover a 44 Magnum speed loader. This is a 44 Magnum, but I'm, I'm, I'm in a six shot 44 Magnum uh, speed loader. Poor design. I've seen other people complain about it online. DeSandes, if you see this, do something about that. Make this better. These bell loops are all pretty and all, and you can carry a few extra rounds that way. Really not practical. I'd rather see you put like a snap on down there where you could. Uh, a uh, clip, uh, molly clip, or something where you could hook some extra pouches in if you needed to. But the speed loaders are the, are the way to go. Uh, even that, you're probably not going to be doing it during a, a confrontation with a bear anyway. You're, gonna get, you're probably getting eight in a matter of seconds. So uh, that's my uh, video on it. I hope I give you some insight on it. If you buy it, like I say, be prepared. If you got a 44 Magnum with a six shot, and mine's a five, you're probably not going to be able to get it in there. It'll, it'll be rough to get it in there. Um, it, other than that, it's a real good holster. It works really good. I'd like to comment one thing about if a bear does uh, approach you. If you're watching this, you wonder well, how does that work for bear. Uh, me and wife have rehearsed the plan. She carries bear spray. She carries a Glock. We both use the extreme penetrator rounds from Underwood in our weapons, which are probably the best thing for bear. Uh, first thing we'll do is whoever sees the bear first, whether it be my wife or me, will pull the bear spray and yell bear, not scream out, but yell bear. Uh, that the other person then, when she's getting the uh, pepper spray or bear spray, will go for their handgun and cover her 
while she's deploying the bear spray. If the bear spray doesn't work, then of course he would open up. At that point, she would drop her bear spray and go to her handgun and continue shooting if we needed to, if the need be, because grizzlies are sometimes hard to kill. Let's hope that doesn't ever come to that. Uh, second thing also, uh, like I say, work as a team. Keep your eyes, your head on a swivel. You see them coming, they can approach, they can run 35 miles an hour, you be on you real fast. Bear spray first, bear spray is probably more effective than the handgun, but if you do have to use it, I extreme, I recommend the uh, underwater, under, underwood extreme penetrator rounds. And uh, that's the end of my video, I hope it helped you.